Star Trek Fleet Command fans, welcome back to another video where we're going to talk about officers because we don't take breaks, even though Scopely does, as evidenced by the fact that the event page literally is hostile hunt three days in a row, and this is it. This is this is the extent of the game that we've been playing lately. This is it. This is the game. I don't know if this is like Scopely lashing out because we were so peeved about the atrocious Christmas event. Like I literally made a video telling you guys how great 2020 was. Don't get mad because one event you released was trash. It was. You look me in the eyes right now, Scopely, and you tell me it wasn't trash. It was garbage. 2020 was still good. Don't take it out on us. Like this is mean. This is cruel. What are you, what are you guys, gals, and what was everybody doing right now? Unacceptable. But let's talk about Lorca. Lorca is one of my favorite new officers from the Discovery crew, and actually he's becoming one of my favorite officers in the game, and that is simply because how he works. Now, I'm on my Server 51 account, so don't worry about me not having anything. I didn't suddenly, like, lose everything, and if you're curious, people always ask, what servers am I actually on? 20, 32, 43, 51, 189. Those are the main five. The only three that I really play, 20, 43, 51. The newest one is 51. If you want to come join me on 51, come hang out. New servers are fun, and uh, I think leveling up is fun because you don't have to worry about all the drama in the 30s. But anyway, the main reason we're comparing them is that we got to compare to Gorkon and Lorca because what we've been getting with the new Discovery Officers is new ways to start the three major buffs, Hull Breach, Burning, and Morale. Waiting on that one, but it is coming. You see, we got Gorkon. When the ship hits the opponent with a critical hit, Gorkon has a 70% chance of causing a hull breach for three rounds on the opponent's ship. Now, remember, that is contingent on a critical hit. So you got to hit a critical. So he pairs well with Khan and long fights. You can use him if you're blessed by RNGesus on Saladins for round one, but if he doesn't pop, well, that, that you know you don't get the bonus. Now, Lorca works in a different way. Lorca, come down here, it's got a lower activation percentage, but doesn't require a critical. So at level one, tier one is a 50% chance. Now, our good friends over at LCARS will show you what the full leveling up activation rate is for this officer. And as you can see, it's not a bad activation rate at all. I have no problem with the activation rate. The only thing is, how long is it going to take you to get the shards needed? I mean, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80 are good numbers, especially because it lasts two rounds. So if you can get him to basically tier three, where it's 70%, you're most likely, odds are statistically, going to have hull breach almost the entire fight. You can, of course, pair this with Pike. You know, a Pike, um, Pike, Lorca, Giorgio combination is going to give you continual burning and hull breach, which is great if you're the support ship in Armadas. And if you don't know about being the support ship in Armadas, well, you should watch more videos and maybe I should make an updated Armadas video. If you want an updated Armadas video, let me know in the comment section below about being a support ship. Anyway, Lorca is a great card because he activates hull breach. Now, one of the drawbacks is Lorca's running mate, who he should be amazing with, is Captain Killy, Captain Tilly. However, she no work. Like every, I've got multiple servers that have sent me logs where this does not proc and we can't notice a difference in the battle log itself. So we've got an issue with Captain Tilly, but Lorca works. And remember with Hull Breach, you're getting a bonus to critical damage. So he pairs great with Khan. And then you're also getting the natural, just all the other officers that can use Hull Breach, which y'all know all of them by now. Now, we'll say real quickly, there's something we need to talk about, and that is the captain's maneuver, because this tooltip does not actually include everything. And then we need to explain how this works, because there's a big misconception. So the captain's maneuver here says at the start of each round, if the opponent has hull breach, Lorca decreases the opponent's weapons damage by 100% for this turn. 
Now, couple things. One, this is incomplete. The actual maneuver is for players. This is a PVP maneuver. It does not work in PVE or Armadas from what we've tested. And if you went through, remember when we had the, um, the different little auctions or whatever you call to get Lorca and you clicked on his tooltip, it was different there than here. And we'll include that here in the video. But you gotta remember this is for PVP. Now, also we have to talk about what this damage bonus actually does. Because I've had a lot of players come to me and say, hey, I tried this out and my opponents were still hitting me for the same amount of damage or only a slightly bit less. So 100% does not work off 100%. Example, if your opponent does 400,000, he's not taking away 400,000. What he is doing is taking away from the base level of the weapon. But remember, you have a lot of additives that go into that. For example, the attack bonus for officers, if you max it out, is 300%. So now, an easier way to think about this maneuver is without synergy, take that 300 and subtract 100. Now it's only 200%. He's not taking away all the damage of your opponent. He's simply lowering it by a small fraction. Full synergy will increase this, but with Tilly not working, full synergy is kind of a, eh, not necessarily the greatest idea. But you would use Lorca and Tilly and then Emperor George o for the full synergy would be something that a lot of people would like to use because you get this one. Now, I know this is a node ability, so maybe you wouldn't like that as much for the Terran Empire, but I actually really, really like, we'll see, two, these three, yeah, just three right now, but there are others coming. Be patient. Be prepared. How about that? Be prepared. You weren't ready for that, were you? Not at all. You weren't prepared. So back to Lorca. The captain's maneuver is a very good feature, but it's not as strong as you think it is. And that is important. That's important. You need to, need to, need to keep in mind that 100% in this game basically never means 100%. It does not take away everything. A great way I can, let's jump back into my main account and just hop into some officers. Let's look at, Let's go to an attack officer. Let's look at Merrick. So Merrick, my Merrick is 175%. So if my ISS Jelly does 100K, does way more than 100K, that doesn't mean it now does 275K. You know, it, it's, not, it's not how it works. It means I'm getting a base increase. That does not include what my buildings do. It does not include what uh, research does, what my officer attack bonus does. You gotta understand that percentages in this game work off base amounts. And sometimes it says that. It'll say that in some of the tooltips. and others it doesn't. I know that can be very confusing for newer players and younger players, but if you're looking at these stats, uh, you know, wherever they are, whether it's an uncommon card, rare card, epic card, understand that how these cards work, it's not always properly displayed. Like I got to remind everybody in this one, DJ Oki, this is displayed incorrectly. It's actually the opposite of this. DJ Oki is essentially Zhao, but Romulan. So he works great with George O. Talk about loadouts you could do. George O, Ash Tyler, DJ Oki for full Romulan loadout with burning. It works. So... I think the, the value with Lorca is mixed with the other officers that you have up here at the top, the normal Gorkon crew. The only drawback is some of those aren't that really heavy on the actual, we've got to sort by group, no wonder it's out of order, by actual hull breach. So like you got Koth, which is the 20% to kinetic damage. Remember, this is a very low amount, not really worth it. Then we don't have a hull breach here. We don't have a hull breach here. We don't have a hull breach here. Then we get a critical one. This is a nice little one for critical damage. That's a flat bonus to critical damage. But remember, that's a specific type of damage. So this is, officers can be confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then you have this hull breach ability. Really what it comes down to is Lorca is best for hull breach and its natural ability to increase critical damage. That's where you really get the value in hull breach. And that's what makes Lorca valuable, which means I really love Lorca in group things like armadas. I think Lorca is an incredibly valuable tool to use. Doing something like Pike Gala Lorca for, as a support character is, an, is a great idea to get hull breach going because everybody can benefit from a hull breach in an armada. But the key is you're going to increase this. The critical damage, you see mine's at 208%. You're getting an increase from Hull Breach to this critical damage, and that's what makes Hull Breach nice, and that's what makes Lorca a good card. 
Lorca works. He's just not really well displayed, and that's a problem. But hopefully this video helped you understand how Lorca works, and if it did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel to get more videos, because nobody provides the information like I provide. And that's just a fact. Jack? I don't know. Love y'all. Live long and prosper. Stay safe out there, Space Cowboys, and we'll catch you on the next video of Star Trek Fleet Command. Yow! An even better outro than the intro. Yeah! Woo!